This is serious. Potential medical alert. The other day I posted swatches of the Fenty We're Even Hydrating Concealer, and I also owned the concealer and used it in conjunction with some other new hair, skin, and makeup products, and my face had a reaction to something, but I wasn't sure what. Well, I happened to go on the Sephora app to look at this concealer again and came across these reviews from people who had an allergic reaction to the concealer. So here I'm showing you some pictures and the comments from people who said they had a reaction to this. And you can see the pinkness there under her eye and discoloration on her face. Then I saw this other review from someone who seems to have like these shiners under her eye. It looks puffy and pink. And that was kind of similar to how mine looked. Um, I also looked at the ingredient list, but I don't know what I could be having a reaction too. So I want to show you pictures of what my face looked like, but it's hard to see on here because I noticed right away and I put cortisone cream on mine. And so here's a picture underneath my eye where it's a little bit puffy and pink. Um, and then on my face, I had these little tiny bumps forming and it was more on one side than the other. I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, but then I went on YouTube to see if anyone posted a review where they mentioned something. And I came across the Mika Lynn page where she says she had a reaction to the Fenty were even high hydrating concealer and had to go to the doctor, which was very expensive. And even a few days later with a prescription, it wasn't fully cleared up. So I commented what I did. Um, I'm not trying to give medical advice, but I wanted people to know what worked for me in case there's something in there that's helpful for them. And I can't say for certain that uh, my reaction was caused purely by the Fenty concealer, but it looks like there's a pattern where people are using this concealer and uh, people had reactions. So I feel Feel like maybe it was at least a factor for me. Maybe there are a couple of ingredients that don't get along with each other. Maybe in something else that I used, I don't know. But to treat it, I used cortisone cream on it. I took Benadryl and then I bought the new Allegra Hives medication. And I also uh, put some Adapalene gel on there. And I did experience the reaction more than once um, using the Fenty concealer because I didn't know what was causing it. So I tried to take out like every other skincare thing that I was using and I just put on a little bit of makeup and I had the reaction again. But each time I was able to get my reaction to go away within um, a few hours or less than 24 hours for sure. So since other people seem to have more severe reactions and theirs lasted longer, I wanted to put out here what I did in case that's helpful.